Try zero free for 30 days. Welcome to this month's Psycho News on Technical Updates. I am Dinesh Ripale and I would like to update you with some recent developments at Psycho and share information that you as members ought to know. The Minister of Finance tabled the national budget on the 24th of February. The budget is a departure from the narrative in the 2020 medium-term budget policy statement and seems to enter a new consensus that government will not just listen, but will actually hear what the people have to say. Rebuilding our economy is at the core of this budget, and Saika's theme for this year will be centered around refueling our economic tank. Gigi Nyanan, Project Director for Tax, will now speak more about this. Saika presented its views and recommendations on this year's budget speech in the parliamentary hearings held in March. We focused our submission on a number of aspects, including the public wage bill and infrastructure. On the public wage bill, the public discourse has been mostly on the relative quantum of the wages, and this has created a counterproductive engagement with public sector unions and employees. SAGA has identified productivity as the actual concern. Our recommendations focus on what is required from leadership and the concessions required by employees and unions to enhance productivity and thereby retain jobs and salary levels in the public sector. The second key aspect was infrastructure, and here our recommendation centered on the lack of prioritization by leadership. Our recommendation being that the top three priorities across all of government should be electricity supply, water and sanitation, and the expansion of logistical infrastructure. Interventions to address the lack of accountability in implementation and the missing ingredient of collaboration rounded our list of recommendations. The full submission is available on the SICA website. At the December 2020 SICA board meeting, the board adopted the changes made during the year to the International Code of Ethics for Professional Accountants and the Independent Regulatory Board of Auditors Code of Professional Conduct. This has aligned the SICA Code of Professional Conduct to both the IESBA and the URBA Code. You can view a comprehensive summary of these changes and the updated code on the SICA website. The SICA board adopted the changes to the SICA Code of Professional Conduct for the alignment to both the International Code of Ethics for Professional Accountants as well as the Independent Regulatory Board for Auditors Code of Professional Conduct. These changes include changes made to the RBA Code relating to registered candidate auditors as well as Section 321 dealing with second opinions. The third change relates to Part 4B of the codes with alignment with International Standard of Insurance Engagement, ISAE 3000 revised, relating to non-historical financial information. The updated code is available on the SACA website. The National School of Government have issued a national implementation framework towards the professionalization of the public service for comment. The closing date for comment was Friday the 26th of February 2021. SICA has made a submission to this framework. Natasha Supal, Senior Executive for Public Sector and Enabling Competencies, will now speak more about this. SICA submitted comments to a national implementation framework towards professionalization of the public service to the National School of Government on 26th of February. SICA agrees to the professionalization of the public service as this will assist in improving the sector and ultimately service delivery. The framework proposes a value chain for professionalizing the public service, which includes pre-entry, recruitment and selection, induction and onboarding, planning and performance management, continuing learning and professional development and career progression and career incident. Some of the key comments in our submission included an enabling environment for professionals, implementation and monitoring of the framework and ethics. SICA has three qualifications to aid in the professionalization of the public service, namely the CASA, AGA and ATSA designation. In addition to the submission made by SICA on the professionalization of the public service, 
we have also developed a comprehensive program to assist in the professionalization of the public service through various advocacy and capacity building, which will be shared with you in the future. As a profession, we believe that our members have required skills to assist government in its professionalization journey and urge you to be part of the change. If you know someone who has studied a BCom Accounting or BCom Accounting Extended Program at the University of Johannesburg Post 2015, listen up. SICA has recently accredited these two degrees for admission into its mid-tier Associate General Accountants, also known as the AGASA designation. The accreditation is effective to all students who enrolled for UJ's BCom Accounting or BCom Accounting Extended Program from January 2015 and beyond. This means that both UJ alumni and current students of these two accredited undergraduate degrees can qualify to become AGASA members by two avenues, either by successfully completing a SICA training contract or by having served four years of relevant work experience and successfully completing a SICA training equivalence assessment. More details about this pathway to becoming an AGASA designation are on SICA's website. Try Zero Free for 30 days.